Amaranth is an incredibly nutritious and versatile food, and in this video, I'm going to share a few ways that you can make it for breakfast. Lately, I've been loving amaranth bowls for breakfast, whether sweet or savory. I feel like it gives me so much energy and it really keeps me satisfied for hours and hours. Amaranth is treated like a grain, but it's actually a teeny tiny little seed, so it's a pseudo grain similar to quinoa. In these teeny tiny little seeds is a whole lot of nutrition. About a cup of cooked amaranth gives us about 5 grams of fiber, gives us about 9 or 10 grams of protein, 30% of your recommended daily intake for iron, and iron is an incredibly important nutrient for energy, and it's also a great source of magnesium. Magnesium is another critical nutrient. We use it for our immune system. It's great for helping us, our body to manage stress. And if you have chronic headaches or migraines or even chronic PMS, those could both be signs of low magnesium. So ensuring that you're getting enough for your diet could be helpful in remedying those issues. This is a very versatile grain, so you can do a few different things with it. You can pop it, you can make it a little bit more like a dry grain, or you can add extra water to the pot and make it more like a porridge. Similar to oatmeal, you can make it either sweet with some fruit or savory with some veggies. Cooking amaranth is simple. Simply add one cup of amaranth to a pot along with two and a half cups of water. Bring this to a boil then cover and reduce the heat to low. You'll let the amaranth cook for about 20 minutes or so until all of the liquid is absorbed. Once it's done, you'll see that it develops this really thick porridge-like consistency. For a sweet and fruity amaranth breakfast bowl, you can use whatever fruit that you have on hand. Here I'm using some nectarine, plums, and blueberries, but you can really use whatever you have, like kiwis, orange slices, or bananas. And then I'm going to add some crunch with a little bit of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. For a little healthy fat and nice color, I'm adding some shredded coconut as well. And then to take this fruity breakfast bowl to the next level, I'm adding a generous swirl of cashew butter on top. For our savory amaranth breakfast bowl, we're going to chop up some grape or cherry tomatoes red onion, avocado, then toss that with a little bit of pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, salt, and just a touch of olive oil. If you want a little bit of extra flavor, you can throw some dried oregano on top as well. You can then pour that on top of your amaranth bowl. 